If you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you probably know that I have a terrible time waking up in the morning. My whole entire sleep biological clock just seems to be set to go to bed late and get up late, which I've fought against for a long time because that's not really convenient the way most of our society works. But lately I have been finding tricks to use different technology and the five senses to reset my biological clock and make it easier for me to go to sleep early and get up early. A lot of these tips require um, these smart plugs. First, let me say every single thing in this video that I referenced that you can purchase, I have no affiliation with. If you find a different brand that works better, that's great. I will link them below, but I am not affiliated to any of these things. They're just things I like. So these smart plugs are used in a lot of these different tricks and this is the Casa brand, I think. It's like $20. I really like it. The app works really well, but I think pretty much any brand of smart plug would work. So just find one with good reviews and pick one up. You can get them like on Amazon. I get this, got this one at Home Depot. They're easy to find. Let's start with sound, which is the big duh one, right? Of course, you're gonna use alarms to wake up and you've probably thought about using a music alarm. If you've never tried it, I definitely suggest it. I think it's a lot more peaceful to wake up to then a blaring alarm and it can kind of run in the background for a while. One thing I've tried is I put a music alarm on and then I also set a backup like bah, bah, alarm so that I can listen to music but if the music sort of puts me back to sleep then I still have that backup alarm. I like Spotify for this and I have an Alexa but there's a million different ways to do it and I think the biggest trick here if it hasn't worked for you in the past it took me a really long time to figure out what kind of music I like waking up to and what kind of music I don't. I thought I wanted something like kind of happy to pump me up but I really prefer quiet calm music to wake me up especially at the beginning of the playlist. Another thing you can try is a sound machine. I really love to just listen to birds chirping or nature sounds when I wake up and you can use one of these smart plugs and a sound machine so that it will be on a timer to go off when you want to wake up. These smart plugs are awesome. They basically just connect to an app and you can set them on all kinds of schedules or you can just manually turn things on and off so that you can do it from a distance or you can have it on the schedule to wake you up when you want or start whatever electronic thing you want when you want to. I use them for all kinds of things. Another trick I've really liked in the past is calling a friend. That's just a good way to get your brain to wake up. If you know somebody that's also waking up at that time, they might also appreciate the accountability and a wake up time or if somebody's already up and they don't mind giving you a quick like 30 second wake up call. That can be more useful than an alarm in my experience. Next is sight. And I have learned so much about how important sight is to waking up from the podcast, the Huberman Lab podcast, Dr. Huberman. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but his podcast is really interesting. I highly suggest you listen to his sleep episodes, actually all of his episodes, but that's where I learned most of this stuff. So it's really, really important that you stop getting late, light in the evening and you get lots of bright light in the morning. And there's a lot of differences on the kind of light, like natural light will help you a lot faster than even really bright indoor lights, but you can get those light alarm clocks if you need to if it's gonna to be totally dark when you wake up. But if not, just look out the window if it's winter time or try to get out the window, out the window, out the door for a little bit, sit outside for a bit if it's warm enough and take in that natural light. It only takes about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how cloudy the day is and you're gonna really help reset your biological clock that way. And that's something that I have noticed a really big difference in. And I've started doing that after listening to Huberman's podcast on that, which I will also link below because he goes into so much depth. My summary is not doing it any kind of justice at all. I'm just trying to pique your interest. Again, no affiliation with him. I just think he's awesome and I've learned a ton. And then a little bonus for sight is just to tidy your space before you go to sleep. And of course, that's not actually gonna change your biological clock, but it's nice to wake up to a clean space, be able to look around and that'll feel calming instead of having all that stress pile up as soon as you wake up. Next is taste. You've likely heard of the lemon water thing, which apparently lemon gets your system going. I know citrus is very good for waking up in a lot of ways. I'm not a huge fan of lemon water because um, of my teeth. I could drink it with a straw. What I really like is using those Monin extracts, kind of just like a herb or fruit extract that's really concentrated, but there's no added sugar or anything. And I find that's a lot easier than like cutting up fruit or having fresh mint or whatever on hand. Kind of a lazy hack, but I do like doing that. Um, mint is a great way to wake up too. And then aside from just having something to drink, also eating will kind of trick your biological clock into the next day remembering, oh, we normally wake up and look for food at this time, you know, going back to those primitive roots. 
and that can help you so much. I've noticed, especially if I eat a really early light dinner, that helps me more than anything else, more than the light, more than the sound, more than anything to wake up earlier the next day. And then touch. So the way I use this mostly is warm versus cold. And Huberman also has an episode where he goes really deep into this. But when you go to sleep at night, your body temperature drops. So he suggests taking a warm shower at night because after you get out of that warm shower, your body temperature will slowly drop. And it's best to not take a really long warm shower in the morning because yes, that warms you up initially, but then after you get out, your body's temperature again starts to drop and that will confuse your body clock into thinking that it's time to go to sleep. So he recommends at least ending your shower with a little bit of cold in the morning. And I also love using, again, these smart plugs and heated blankets or heaters, space heaters. Be really careful of this, don't start any fires. Um, but I have like an oil one and I make sure, an oil heater, and I make sure that nothing is around it and then just have it on a timer so that about maybe 30 to 45 minutes before I wanna wake up, it starts heating up the room and then it's easier for me to get out of bed because it's not freezing. It's so hard to get out of bed when everything is freezing outside of your warm covers. And then of course, like I just said about Huberman, you don't want to be getting colder after that. So I make sure to put on a cozy robe and some socks and stay really warm after that. But Getting warm helps me get out of bed. I know some people like cold. If cold helps you, then go splash your face with water, take a cold shower. It's actually probably better because then you don't have to worry so much about staying warm. Your body temperature will naturally warm up. But manipulate heat and cold, maybe using a smart plug so that you can get out of bed easier if that's a problem for you. Finally, smell. These Pura smart plugs are really interesting. They like diffuse scents into the air. They're not exactly essential oils, but they are awesome. I just got one and I really love it. I have a lavender chamomile one that puts me to sleep at night and it's on a timer to start about 20 minutes before I go to bed. And then I have a citrus one that wakes me up in the morning and I really find them completely awesome for using smell on a timer system as well to get out of bed. And you don't need a smart plug because they're already smart and they have their own app. And again, not affiliated, but they're great. I'll link them below. Thanks so much. See you Tuesday with another video. Bye.